We're Brad and Jazz, and it's been 10 months now since we bought an empty sprint event to convert into a luxury home on wheels. Things haven't really gone to plan, and we've been missing for a few months. So to catch you up, we've cut a lot of holes in our van. Yep, it's a hole. Laid the foundations. Feel pretty solid. Feels good. And started running our electrical. They don't make these for big handed people. Oh. <laughs> Don't do what this guy just did. It's time to get back to work. Welcome back to Brad and Jazz. Sorry that it has been so long between updates. We've been very busy. We've actually been moving our business into a warehouse, which has taken a long time. And we've had some pretty crazy wet weather lately. So we haven't had a lot of chance to get back to the van and do some work. We have done a little bit of work. So we've done some of the spray foam insulation and it has gone absolutely everywhere. So we need to clean that up today and get the van looking a little bit more clean. <laughs> but the main task for today is to get this hot water system into the side of the van, which means we have to cut another hole. <laughs> so I guess that's the hardest part about starting and building a van is the first kind of few tasks are all cutting massive holes in the van you just bought, which is always scary. So I'm gonna get measuring. We're gonna have to do a lot of cutting today. We've got all the Sikaflex and all that stuff ready to go. So let's get into it. So we're actually gonna be putting the hot water system in here and it's gonna fit essentially just on the edge of this across to sort of here. So I'm actually gonna to have to jigsaw some of this out. I might have to get a grinder out to cut the base. But essentially we want it to flush with the floor so it's got a good connection with the ground so it doesn't jump up and down and wiggle out of the spot. Luckily with these gas hot water systems they have screws as well so we're actually going to put a backing on it to hold it into the van and that way it's not going to shake loose or come off when we're driving down the road. I'm actually going to use the jigsaw as much as I possibly can in and around here. I'm not a massive fan of the old grinder so if I can get as much of this off with the jigsaw, come in with the grinder and take that bottom bit off, that's going to save me a bunch of time. None of this is structural through here. Um, obviously you don't want to be cutting into these actual cross members that support the van structure, but all these little bits here are fine. So I'll just cut into them, make this side all nice and neat before I go and measure up the outside. So I'm actually probably gonna to have to put these baseboards in. I don't want to cut into this layer right here. So this will just give it a proper base for it to actually sit on and it's nice and flush with the edge there. We're gonna go over that and get rid of all the burrs off it as well with a file. And then we'll start prepping the outside ready to slide it on in. And in the meantime, I'm going to be cutting all of this gunk back to flush. One little tip for what not to do. It's been a while since we originally put our foil board in and while we've been using the van for other things, it has gotten some little tears in it, which is pretty much what you don't want from your foil board. So if you're using this product in the future, remember, cover it up quick before you're getting damage. Okay, I've just made myself a little template for the hot water system. So it's pretty much exactly 32.3 across. Essentially, if I cut that into the side of the van over here, it's going to be perfectly where it sits. So I'm actually going to draw, drill a pilot hole from the inside and it'll poke out and that'll be my center mark. So from in here, I've got a center mark here. I'm just going to go straight through. That's my center. It's going to poke out the other side, the template's going to go on the other side so I can cut around it and then hopefully the auto system slides on in. So now my screw hole is essentially right there. What we'll do is we'll make sure this is all level, measure it against the van because that's probably going to be the only square we're going to get. Start cutting! So we've just drilled our pilot holes here, so this corner, the middle and then this corner here as well and then the same down the bottom. So now we'll be able to drill bigger holes so that we can actually get the jigsaw in there, cut that all out, make sure it's nice and level and slowed it on in. Brad's just done the final measure and then shrugged and said, eh, it is what it is. Now we're just going to tape up the area around the cut so we don't scratch it in the outer. I've also taped up the bottom of the jigsaw so it doesn't scratch any of the surfaces as well. So that should give it good protection. Let's hope we get the cut nice and straight. while since we last cut a hole in this van, but uh, this guy is like casually confident. <laughs> I don't know if I am. Hey, 
So far, so good. Hey, buddy! Hi! Yep, it's a hole. What's the chances we got this right the first time? I'm going with about 3%. What do you guys reckon? She's tight. Just a little bit off on this edge. I just need to cut that edge up a little bit. And then, it should go in. Hey, better a little bit too small than a uh, too gaping big. Here we go, in real time. No cuts, take two. <laughs> so tight. God. We've got the width pretty much spot on. Just that top, I need to cut probably a bit off there. A little bit more here. She's gonna fit like a glove. Oh, she's in. Now we actually have to take it all out again. <laughs> and do all the edges, make it all nice and neat, rust proof it, and slide it back on again. Favourite thing about this though, is that we actually can screw it in, unlike when we did our gas box and you saw us struggling to brace that silly thing while it cured. Countersunk some screws into this board. What so it's going to do is provide a proper base for the actual hot water system to sit on. We're also going to heat shield this. Now, I haven't seen too many other people do that, so I don't know if it's overkill or not. We're gonna do it anyway. Now we've never actually seen anyone else take this next step, um, but we were reading our instructions that came with our hot water system and they talked about having a protective heat shield. So we have laid down this heat shield from car builders. It's just a sticky back. So we've put it along the base. We're also going to just line our frame with it and that will house the box very nice and safely. Okay, so I've just pre-drilled all of these. Now we're gonna go sicker all the way around. We're gonna have to build it up heaps on the sides here because there's big gaps there. Unfortunately, these don't contour to the van as well as the gas boxes do. So we're going to sicker that, then we will screw them in. There's gonna be wood on the back to pull it all together and hold it tight, which is gonna be great. We don't have to shove a bulk amount of wood in here to try and make it set. We need a bit of a clean up. So luckily we put all the edging around because the Sikaflex goes everywhere. Oh help! Does his own clean up so hopefully we get that nice and neat ripple the tape off before it starts drying so we get a nice neat edge. Oh dear look this top bit just needs one little uh, wipe but what happened here? All right back to it. Jasmine has the hands of a surgeon I have <laughs> the hands of a shaky Old man, so well, don't look at this side. <laughs> starting on this side, but this side over here is done, and that looks really good. What's harder, cutting holes or trying to use sicker flex? Sicker flex. <laughs> All right, we're gonna let that dry. We've got tomorrow for it to dry, and we've got some good weather, which is great. Then we'll be able to put the front on it, and essentially that'll be it. It's done. The only other thing we have to do is put like a little support beam on the inside, just so it doesn't shake around but from the inside, it is not moving. So I'm very happy with how that's turned out so far. It is dried, which is nice. It will dry a little bit firmer over the next couple of days, but we've left it overnight. Let's see the moment of truth. If this actually goes over top and how she looks. I'm pretty happy with that. And she ain't moving at all. So she's in there nice and tight. To secure this in, we've got one frame that we made for the back here for the screws to go into. And then we also have one around the box to prevent it from bumping around. We do not want anything moving while we're driving. And instead of cutting it further into the van floor, we've actually decided to make this a little platform to raise it up and this is secured to the floor. That went pretty much as good as we could have hoped for and we're so glad to have the last big hole cut out of the van. So join us again next time because we get to move on to framing.